My name's Matthew Carter. I'm a painter and I live in Auckland. I went to art school early to do a bachelor's in the UK in Cardiff, but I decided I wanted to get a job, a proper job, so I got into television. Later on in life, I really wanted to reconnect with some of the family traditions. My dad was a sculptor, my mother was a painter, so that was the natural thing for me to do. And I thought, well, I'll go to art school here in Auckland to do a master's. Winning the Glacier Owner Award gave me a boost. I was quite surprised to win it. I think lots of artists need that sort of affirmation that they're doing okay. I had no idea what kind of painting I would be getting into. Through the practice of making art, you don't necessarily go into the area that you want. You discover things through the act of practicing and it almost takes you forward on its own journey. The people who claim to be abstract realists seem to be doing similar work to me, so it's not hyper-realism or, or extreme realism, and it's, it's always looking towards abstraction. That's the way I'd describe it. I've been pretty fascinated with city spaces. The city has often been thought of as a sort of dangerous, malevolent place, but in fact it's also fascinating and rich. The early high view works, those sort of God's eye views, looking down into the city. I came to those because I was wandering around the city looking for some different viewpoints. I discovered that multi-storey car parks were the ideal way to get quite a different view, a high view, and the top of the car park just seemed to me to be a sort of urban equivalent of a mountain top in, in, a, in a rural landscape. So that's how these sort of composites of the city developed. I had compositing skills that I had through working in television, taking certain elements and cutting and pasting them in, into another place. So I was compositing elements of the city, buildings, and just sort of playing with the perspectives of those elements, those buildings, those structures, streets, and so on. My recent body of work has been quite concerned with our emotional response to colour and the urban spaces and our responses to those and how they're, they're affected by how we might change our response to those city spaces by the use of colour. So I've abstracted colour in a sense but nothing else is really abstracted. So playing with radically different colors, colors which wouldn't normally be suitable for cityscapes. I love it when I am painting. I can get on a roll with a body of work, say 10 paintings, and keep working on them flat out for a number of weeks, however long it takes, and then have a break. But when I'm having a break, I'm thinking, I'm looking forward to getting back into the next body of work. <laughs>